Welcome back guys, today we will be continuing graph theory. So today we will be seeing the incidence matrix of a graph. So today we will be seeing for a undirected or non-directed and a connected graph. So let me write it. Let G be a graph with M vertices and M edges. So the incidence matrix is denoted by I of G so that will that looks something like this. It is M cross M vertices cross edges and <coughs> M will be N will be for row and M will be for column. So there is something just nomenclature I'm writing it. A I J is equals to one if edge is incident to vi but not a self loop that is one for normal edge and aij is two for self loop normal incident and a of ij is zero if no edge is connected to that given vertex no edge is connected to the given vertex given vertex so these are the some nomenclature so this is an example which i will explain so there are eight vertices uh, sorry there are four vertices and there are eight edges so n equals to four and m equals to eight so now we'll make the incidence matrix of this graph so we'll plot vertices here and the edges here e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 e7 and e8 so so now we'll start plotting it now we'll see from v1 to e1 V1 to E1 there is a path connected so it is yes 1 and E2 yes 1 E3 yes 1 and for E4 uh, where it is E4 E4 is here no path connected so 0 E5 0 E6 0 E7 0 and E8 0 now for V2 V2 is here no E1 no E2 E3 yes and for E4 it is a self loop so now E5 yes, E6 0, E7 yes 1, E8 0, now we V3, V3 is here, so E1, E2, E3, E4, E5 is 0, E6 is 1, E7 is 1 and E8 is 2, self loop for V4. Here it is 1, 2, 1, 1, E3 is 0, E4 is 0, E5 is 1, E6 is 1, E7 is 0 and E8 is also 0. So this was incidence matrix of a non-directed connected graph. So this was the matrix. So thanks for watching it. Hit the thumbs up button.